So we're about to come upon the 12 hour, 12, 12, this portal of light. I wanted to take a few moments and just talk about it before we start the meditation. Numbers all hold weight. They hold vibration, energy. And we look at the energy of 12, 12. We all kind of recognize this from the clock, right? Lots of times we'll hear 11, 11. Yes, we did that last month. But 12, 12 also, we get all excited. You know, I was in... Um, west coast and there was a clock there in 24 hour and i saw like 13 13 14 14 i got so excited and right it does lift our vibration because it holds energy whether we understand it or not so if we think about 12 all right in the tarot we break it down we have a one and a two right one is that seed that core that manifestation two is a duality we have to look at both sides so we put those together it helps us to put our work out into the world and then when we have that double energy it does create this vortex this portal of light you know in the tarot sometimes it's a little different but in my deck the 12 is the hanged man it's about surrender let go get a different perspective and lately i've been reading from the starseed tarot and it's perspective same idea so we sit between this idea of new perspective, surrender, hanged man, let go, and open up so that that wisdom can come all the way through so that you can manifest, right? It's almost like that new moon energy manifest through this portal. However, we're working in the higher vibrations. We're activating our, our light body, the Merkaba. We're spending with this vibration. So it's not coming from here the mind. It's coming more from that deepest part of your heart. It's opening up that entire light body to help you change and shift access codes of DNA. It's pretty fascinating when we get into it. Now, really, it's about feeling and sensations, opening up your intuition, opening up the imagination, looking for color, for shape, for sound, not words, not intellect. Again, I say that. Right, we wanna open up and trust what that feeling is. It's a presence of energy for all of us to expand in. So we always have this 12-12 during December, hello, but it's in the Sagittarius energy, which is what I was trying to say. And Sagittarius has some fire to it. It has that wandering, that expansion, that travel. And so this too helps us to open up, travel a little higher in your light body. I did put that bumper sticker on my car. My other vehicle is my light body, my the Merkaba. And it's true. And I will say the more and more that you begin to access this energy for you, the more you're going to feel it. All right, people are going to start to come in now. I'm going to put this on a bit more about this as others come in. The other part of 1212 is accessing the male and female energy. We want to balance both of those. We want to balance the way in which we show up. We don't want to have too much of one, not another the other. So we want to really, and I love to put the word divine in front of it, divine masculine, divine feminine, so that we can show up in that light of who we truly are. We need both parts of us. I know that as a single mom, I needed both parts. And so it's important too, through this energy, to really reflect on that inner balance for you. Now you can also look at it more as, how active am I in the world? How much pausing am I doing? That's also a way to balance that divine feminine and masculine energies. So that's partly what we wanna do. We wanna to start to recognize as we spin through the Merkaba, balancing out that energy, noticing where we can rebalance our life as well right you can meditate through this meditation through this activation with the intention setting it in your heart allowing that spinning of vibration to open up that's what we want to do as well and then as you move through what we're going to do is bring this all the way down through our vibration through our body so that you can bring this out into the physical world as well. We wanna be able to move it forward, access from the higher realm, come in, move it into the physical realm. Cause yes, we were talking about this in the Akashic Record training last night. We do live in the 3D world. We wanna live in the 3D world. That's what we incarnate for. But we wanna have access to higher vibration. We wanna start opening up this on a daily basis, all the time. I was talking about last night, this is the medicine of our future. Vibration, energy, sound, color, light, crystals, all of this. You're seeing it. You're seeing medical technology, working with sound therapy all the time, color therapy all the time now. I know, I've been talking about it forever. Finally, we feel it starting to catch up with all of us. So when we have these days like today, charged energy, 
you can manifest, you can work with that vibration, shift it up. Sometimes it'll be a big step, sometimes not. It just really depends on where you are. But using all your tools on an everyday basis is what this energy is all about. All right, so allow for a few more to come in. So some of the other things that you can do is be really aware of 12 today, 12 coins, 12 crystals. Look for 12 all around you. And that is going to help you be in that vibration. You can light 12 candles. Think about it, it's the clock, it's the wheel. We're at the end of the year. How powerful is that? It's also setting us up for the winter solstice, setting us up for that 1221. We have number energy there as well. Yes, we're doing a winter solstice. If you're local in Birmingham at the clubhouse on Highland, come join us. Don Cassisi doing some yoga. We'll do some crystal color light. Paul Wolf, fire circle, a little cacao sponsored by Chocolata. But it is setting us up for that portal of light. And then we go right into shifting of the seasons, right? We start to really bring our soul vibration in. So as we open up, we pull it back in. And this is how we start to increase and grow in that light body. This is what we do, right? If we're not, we're stuck here. And then we start being squashed by fourth dimension. Who wants that, right? We are. So think about, so we reach the 12 o'clock, think about your manifesting. Think about what you want to bring forward. Think about maybe what all has been working for you, what your shifts and changes are. And that's where we're going to drop into the heart as we tune in. And that's what you want to feel spinning and spinning and projecting and full of light and color and vibration to set that energy for you. When you finish, you might want to journal, take some notes. You can go into it again at midnight. That would be a little late for me. I'm already, I'm already in it. What about you? But you can, throughout this whole day, keep this vibration going. Just take a pause. Feeling those elevated emotions, how you want to manifest, how you want to grow your light body. They sing, the Koshi chimes, they sing. This is in the tone of the element of water. How beautiful, right? Fire, fire, it sounds like water. I've actually had to tone down the amount of water I put out there. All right, take another deep inhale. We'll start in about three minutes. As others come in, take a nice deep breath. Noticing where you can surrender to your life, where you can get a different perspective on how you're showing up in the world. Do you believe in you? Do you believe in you? Definitely a question I've been looking at in the work I'm doing with all the shifts and changes. These are the questions we ask right now. We go into our soul, and on days like today, we use that one, two. If we add up the one, the two, the one, the two, it becomes a six. Six is harmony. Harmony in our group. Harmony in the world all around us. So even all the numbers adding up are very important for where we are right now. As we create that portal of energy and balance, we want to create that harmony within ourselves. So here we go. 
few more coming in. What we want to do is start to feel what those elevated emotions are for where you want to grow <clears throat> in your light body, where you want to manifest from your soul. And that's what we're going to use to spin as we move into that Merkaba energy, moving up and beyond this three-dimensional world that we're in. You want to go into the higher vibrations and activate this energy for you. And I did a little pre-intro on this as well, but as we move through the rest of this time till next week, the 1221, we want to keep reinforcing this vibration. So we want to take what that feeling is, what that emotional energy is, and let that be imprinted as we're spinning in our Merkaba, in our light body energy. All right, here we are at 12. We'll see if others come in or not. At any rate, let's begin. Finding something to light. Setting the space, setting, setting the light. Calling in the element of fire. Allowing for this transmutation of energy. Allowing for your soul to be activated as you light this energy. Noticing when it turns to the element of air, through the smoke, through the smell. Calling in the element of air to, to cleanse, to come in. Clear the mind, clear the body, clear the emotions. Calling in the element of water to open the heart. Allowing for the heart to open, the emotions to flow. Activating the intuitive abilities. Calling in the element of earth. Grounding, centering, feeling this plane of existence where we start. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy into you. Call it in from the morning. Feel the alignment, spiritual body, emotional, mental, physical bodies, all aligning. Take another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And now as you exhale, dropping into that deepest part of your heart, the deepest part beyond the heart chakra, deep into that very center, feeling that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Feeling all this energy coming in around us as we begin to activate this light body all around you. Noticing as we call in the Reiki masters, the ascended masters, calling in the angels to open the heart with joy and love. Calling in the crystal beings to create this beautiful amusement, magnification. Calling in your higher self, imagining the higher self right above the crown as you begin to align all this energy. Inhale, breathing up the body, go beyond the crown into the higher realms. Exhale, calling in absolute light, streams of grace. Just imagine this beautiful, radiant white light all the way down, creating this column of energy, your light body. Inhale, breathing back up the body. And exhale all the way back down. This is how we activate the light body, how we start to move into the higher realms. From the heart now, opening up. And again, white light all around, front, side, back. Exhale, breathe it in. We want it to have energy. We want it to flow and open. Inhale and exhale. And you can start to even notice as you activate, returning to the vertical breath beyond the crown, more color comes in. Just notice, start breathing with your light body from the heart all around, dropping out of the mind deep into the heart. Inhale, breathing up and exhale breathing down moving into the higher realms with each breath allowing your act allowing the light body to be activated and from your heart returning to those elevated emotions your light what are you shining what are you living what are you doing what is that balancing coming in for you Begin to feel yourself even spinning as you're moving into these higher realms of possibility, moving up and out into fifth dimension. Let it go higher through the higher self, higher chakras, accessing the wisdom of your soul through the light body, again, out of the mind, into the heart, and imagine yourself beginning to spin and spin. And as you do, you feel this activation, 
You're in the center. You're the light, your manifestations, those elevated emotions. Notice. So we call in the Reiki masters as well to send some Reiki to all of us, calling it in, calling it in, activating that light body, feeling that Reiki coming right through the heart. Feel those crystal beings shining down on you as well, magnifying this energy, have amusement, trust, trust what you're feeling. See that expanse of your light body moving around and around and around, activating the aura, activating the higher realms, absolute light, streams of grace. We call in that gamma consciousness to help us as we move out of the mind into the heart. Feel the spinning of light. And now allow yourself with this sound and vibration, color and light, to set that aura, to set that vibration of this one, two, one, two energy, your seeds of manifesting, your expansion, duality, the codes allowing, being in this vibration. Surrounded in this light. Feel the connection of the third eye with that deeper part of your heart, allowing all the sensories to come together, to work together, to hear, to see, to feel, to know your light body. Let it grow with each breath. Let all the white turn into all the colors as you spin faster and faster in this consciousness. Imprinting this vibration. Focusing, feeling, noticing. spinning. Receive whatever message you're coming your way through color, through light, through sound, through hearing, through smelling, through tasting. Ask. Show me. I am. The presence of I am. Open to receiving. See yourself in this light. Only good comes to you, only good goes from you as you manifest, setting this vibration, setting your intentions. I believe in me. I believe in you. I believe in humanity. Take deep inhales, expand the light. So back. Inhale, expanding it all around you, still spinning, still seeing that sacred geometry. Still being in that Merkaba light. Representing that 12. Surrender. Perspective. Shift. Grow. Setting that vibration.
feeling those elevated emotions, inhaling, to exhaling, imprinting this vibration, feeling the Reiki ride through the heart, feeling your guides all around you, opening up to these messages. No one trusts they will continue right through 1221. Open to receive. Open to loving yourself, finding that balance, the giving, the receiving, the masculine, the feminine, you, others. Inhaling, to exhaling, feeling this vibration of light, start to pulling it back to this column they begin to seal in the energies. Shogure, 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 all for the highest good. Taking all this energy, bringing it back to visualizing this column, column of light, your light body, we've expanded. Now we're starting to bring it back in to contain it, pull it back in, feel yourself again. Now allow your higher self, give it that job. You want to call it a job. Give it that responsibility. Remind me of this, this feeling right here. Make that commitment with the higher self. Yes. So when you find yourself, call it back in. Take another deep inhale. Now, as we start to come right back down through these tunnels, we want to hold this vibration as long as we can. Coming back through these tunnels, holding this in your heart through the third eye as well, those two aligning. And just placing one hand on the heart, one hand on that third eye. And allow it to expand all through you as we come back down 1212 into this realm right here, right now into the 3D world. We bring this knowledge, we bring this vibration, inhaling, and now right from your heart, releasing that intention you're setting through those elevated emotions. Coming back to the center, starting to ground the energy. Just taking a moment, lightly tapping on the body. I am just that presence. I am. I am, I am. Tapping anywhere, we just wanna bring this into the physical body. I am present. Take one more deep breath, bringing the hands up to the heart, gratitude. Through this 1212, gratitude for showing up for you. Gratitude for the connection to your soul, the greater soul. Gratitude for expanding the light body. Inhaling. And exhaling, sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Feel the heart open. Feel the power of that third eye. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open. Coming back to your spirit. Now take this out, reconnect, call in the higher self as often as you can. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.